Okay, guys, uh, Corey Allen here with the Overton Report. Now, listen, um, if you're just catching up, we are uh, here in D.C., and we were outside uh, right around Black, uh, Black Lives Matter Plaza, uh, which is right near the White House on the back side of it, um, when the network news stations announced for Donald Trump. Now, Donald Trump has come out and said that Biden's calling it too early. Uh, already, he has he has uh, said that through proxy and, and statement. He has not come out and spoken, uh, so we are still waiting on that. We um, we don't know what's going on, but we do know that there are uh, there are questions about Dominion voting. Uh, they have up to fifty percent of the voting market. I don't know, you know. Uh, meaning they own the voting machines and things like that. Massive donors of the Clinton Foundation. Uh, Mark Zuckerberg has put $400 million personally into the voting uh, infrastructure, uh, training poll workers, uh, buying machines, making machines, those types of things. Um, so we don't know what's, exactly what's going on yet, but we are uh, in D.C. Uh, we are back at the hotel briefly and then we'll be heading to the Capitol building uh, because that is where uh, Trump supporters are holding a rally uh, or supposed to be holding a rally. We're going to try and get down there if we can. Um, things are, the, the excitement was starting to turn into, you know, one of those like European World Cup victory type thing. Um, so we'll see what's going on and uh Again, D.C. is 90 to 95 percent leftist, uh, liberal, so um, we'll, we'll keep you updated and we'll check in and um, we'll let you know what's going on. But I worry that when Trump comes out and does not concede when he makes a statement that this excitement is going to turn into people looking for his supporters on the streets in, in D.C. and in other places where uh, other cities where they have a strong leftist majority where things have been going crazy over the past few months. It's very surreal seeing people celebrating, just having, just celebrating so hard for the man who is the reason all of the shops are boarded up. So what I mean by that is Joe Biden and other Democrats and leftists have done all they can to dismiss and pretend like there's no riots, there's no violence, there's no murders in the streets being committed, there's no takeovers of entire city blocks. Uh, Seattle, Portland, D.C., New York, Pennsylvania, Atlanta, we've seen it all over the country, Charleston, where we're from. Um, but the windows are all boarded up because of leftists and the fear of leftists rioting and destroying those buildings and smashing those windows and looting those stores and people are driving by just super happy. It's very surreal, very strange. The cognitive dissonance is striking. It's very striking. So we will check back in um, when we go, when we're on our way to the Capitol building to see what's happening there and we will be here uh, throughout the evening and we will be bringing you live video and everything else. So keep an eye out uh, Thank you guys so much so much for all of your support and I'm gonna do everything I can to bring you the truth um, and just show you what's going on in the nation's capital with uh, You know Trump less than a mile away from me right now So we will talk to you soon. Thank you so much and uh, this is Corey Allen with the Overton Report.